Alright, I'm going to be replacing one of these capacitors here with a new one uh, just to show you a demo of how it's done, how I do it anyway. Uh, I'm going to be picking out one of these guys that I've marked on my my s schematic here that I made myself for this monitor since I couldn't find one online and I'm going to be replacing this 50 volt 1 microfarad capacitor on here with a slightly higher voltage one uh, it's going to be 160 volt but still the same microfarad rating um, so what I like to do on these is I don't even bother desoldering them since once you heat up the solder underneath, it's easy to uh, rock them out in, out of position. So I'm going to start here just by heating up one side and pushing with my finger to, to as you can see now it's more tilted, this one right here. Just heat it up and slowly tilt it. Make sure the solder is hot so you're not ripping anything. Slowly tilt it out of, out of its spot and also before you do take it out make note the side that is negative I usually don't trust the uh, the side that's printed on showing the negative on the actual PCB I like to be safe and see exactly which the actual capacitor says is the negative and positive side that way you'll be 100% sure that after you put it in you won't have any trouble so here we go this is the removed capacitor and here's the new one and on the new capacitors uh, usually it has like a like a band with the negative side that that side is the negative and also you'll notice that the the legs on there the longer one is usually the positive so that's an e another easy way to tell um, so now I'm going to be sitting it in the hole here and I'm just going to heat it up until it pops through and then I'll do the same. I'll put the other leg in the hole, press down with my fingers, and heat it up until it pops through. And that way, it goes all the way down. Make sure you have it as close to the board as you can. Um, I've read that on uh, Bob Roberts' website. He calls them high waters if you have them up too high and not touching the board. So it really does make a difference, I guess less chance for dust and other stuff to get underneath. So here we go. And right now it's just being held in by the old solder, but we're going to add some new solder in to hold it all the way. So I'm going to heat up one leg at a time. And add the solder. <coughs> 